My name is Lisa Jackson Pulver. I'm a Professor of Public Health and Director of the Muramari Indigenous Health Unit at the University of New South Wales and Adjunct Professor here at the University of Canberra. I will be your MC today and I'm deeply honoured to be asked to uh, perform in this special role. The first thing I'd like to do though is to pay my deepest respects to the custodians of this beautiful land on which we're on meeting today um, and pay their, my respects to their elders past, present and to those who come. Good afternoon everyone, my name is Lisa jackson Pulva. I'm a proud Wiradjuri woman, my people hail from Wagga Wagga, although I've lived almost my entire life here in Sydney. I work at the University of New South Wales, I'm a member of the Air Force Specialist Reserve and I'm very, very proud and delighted and honoured to be your MC at this wonderful, wonderful event this afternoon. And somehow this afternoon we will be tripping through 60,000 years of story, knowledge, custom and wisdom in just a couple of hours. So first and foremost, I will invite you to stand so that we can each in our own way observe one minute silence in respect to the country that we're on, to the elders past and present, and to those who are not able to be here with us today. If you can't stand, please feel free to sit. Um, and I have to also disclose who, who I am in context <coughs> and where I come from. These are two of my grandmothers. One of my grandmothers comes from uh, a place across the border from here, not far away actually, just across the mountains, Wiradjuri lands. And there's a lot of Wiradjuri people in Canberra. So if you've ever seen the Wiradjuri dancers, well, they're people that are Smiths and they're sort of related to my mob. Um, and my other grandmother comes from the far north coast of New South Wales, uh, up on the Dungadi lands and the, and the um, Bundjalung lands. Okay, so two of my grandmothers are Aboriginal. Um, I obviously have a blended history, um, genetically if you like. I've got a Welsh granddad and his name was Llewellyn Llewellyn. Way waste a good name. <coughs> and the other one was a Scotsman. And uh, he had multiple names including Campbell and McGregor and you know who knows what. But uh, yeah, so I'm proudly uh, standing here as a child of the world, fiercely Aboriginal, and don't anyone forget it. <laughs> so, when... Um Hi, I'm Lola Forrester. Welcome to Jab Jabber. Today, I'm speaking with Professor Lisa Jackson Pulver. Lisa, welcome. Can you just let us know a little bit of background about yourself? I identify as a Wiradjuri woman. I've got family connections from Wagga Wagga all the way through to South Australia. Uh, on my dad's side and on my mum's side, I've got connections up to the far north coast of New South Wales. And on my grandfather's, both sides, uh, there is a Scotsman and a Welshman. So belong to the world, I think. I okay, so the first question. Can you give us a synopsis of your early life, where you were raised, your Aboriginal ancestry, and your becoming the first person in your family to attend university? Sure. Um, first, I have to do, as is my way, and as is a, a really important proto protocol here in Australia, is to pay respects to country. I'm coming to you from Gadigal land here in Sydney. I'm at Sydney University. I'm in our office. We have a huge, great, big open plan office um, and there's not very many people around, so I'm not annoying them too much with my talk, which is good. Um, but the Gaddy people have been here for way over 60,000 years and they are both Aboriginal people. My mum um, is a, a woman who um, never identified as Aboriginal. She used to say that her mum was a Maori. Um, her mum was in fact a Maori princess, she would say. Um, and there would always be this wonderful story. And of course, you know, there's no Maori blood there as far as I can tell. But in fact, her mother was born third tree from the left on a small island in the beautiful Clarence River on the northern New South Wales coast. Um, my father's people are Wiradjuri people and so I identify as a Wiradjuri woman. That's from beautiful downtown Wagga Wagga, so I don't know if anyone's coming from that place, but it's God's own land, uh, really. Um, just saying. Um, 